people are hosting spells with the video they have. Welcome builders, Andy is your here and welcome to a tutorial. This will show you how to make this bucket or cauldron full of swords. It is International Invisible Armor Stand Day, which means you're going to need a Mac or a PC. And we're going to need to use this website, which lets you make armor stands and place them into the ground. First thing you're going to want to do is hit the Show Arms button. And that means you can then, um, <clears throat> first of all, you could rotate the guy. You could um, make his arm move like that. Hello, he's waving to you. You can put him in whatever orientation you like. You can even move his arm in that direction, whatever you want. And yeah, the, the, oh, oh, oh dear. Um, yeah, anyway, once you've got the guy, you can select this command at the bottom and paste it into your world, like so. Paste the command in, boom, and there we go. We have an armor stand holding a sword. Now, I have done something pretty cool because if you go back to that website, you can click the invisible button and it adds an invisible command and you can go back, paste that in and you get an invisible guy and which means you can place the swords anywhere you want. Now, I've done all the hard work for you. Have a look at this document because this document shows you all the orientations and the commands for all the swords we're going to need in this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy the stone command and then head over to a place where I can build it. Now, what I've done here is use some brick here um, to mark out and help me mark out and position these armor stands in exactly the right place. So first thing I'm going to do is land and I'm going to do slash speed 0.1. If you can't do this speed command, it's going to make this a bit tricky, but I think you should still be able to manage it. Now, to place the stone sword, what I'm going to do is shuffle over here and I want to find... I'm looking up, I'm looking down, I'm looking down, I'm looking down, and I, there I am, I'm looking at my toes. I can't go any further. I want to be on this line of pixels on the brick, and I want to come to number seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, the brick makes it actually really easy to see which pixel you're pointing at. When you're pointing at the correct one, then you paste in your command, and the armor stand should appear. Uh, there we go. So what I'm going to do is put the iron sword right there and you should be able to see the sword but not the armor stand of course. If you want to see the armor stand you can do this command here which is game mode spectator and you can actually see the armor stand, a little glimpse of it showing you exactly where to put the sword. If you're planning this out and doing your own sword, your own equipment, then I suggest you don't press the invisible button, you just place the armor stand down, get it in exactly the right position, count the pixels like I did and then what you can do is put down the invisible one knowing that it's going to be in exactly the right place. Anyway, going back to game mode creative so I can place the next ones. What I want to do is get the commands ready for the diamond sword. So I want to be in the right place again. It's going to be on this uh, lump of brick here. Again, I'm looking at my toes. I can't go any further. So that's as far down as the cursor will go unless I move my whole uh, character like that. So what I want to do this time is count six in from the left. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six like that. And then come down by eight blocks. It's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Should end up on that white bit right there. And then um, go back to my document, of course, and then click and copy the one for diamond. There we go, slash, slash, copy, and or control C for copy on a PC, and then um, paste it in like that. There's the command, boom. And that means I've got somewhere for my diamond sword to sit. And we're gonna head over here. <laughs> at lightning speed <laughs> and I need to go and collect my next command which is for the gold sword indeed there it is all done for you copy that and then we need to get it in the right place so this one's going to be actually uh, five in so one two three four five pixels in on the brick and then seven down one two three four five six seven just right there and then we'll just do bring up the command and do that boom and there we go we've got the the one for the gold sword just exactly there now what we need to do is grab the cauldron and place it and um, we need to just build something up here so we can use our um 
pistons to move this down. So let me just place a couple of blocks there, grab a piston and some redstone and get busy banging this down into position. So we're going to go, go a piston right. Uh, oops. <laughs> I've put the piston on the armor stand. <laughs> That's no good. Okay, what I'm going to do is put the piston right up there. And I'm going to place that block there. And this will just work fine. Boom. It shoved. Destroyed the piston first. And it destroyed or moved the block down into the right position. Apart from it needs to be down one more block. So we're going to go like that. And then the piston can go... <laughs> I've replaced it again. Don't. Let's just hover up a little bit further. Maybe I'll come over here and do it. Is this going to work? There we go. It's pushed it down into place. Get rid of that. And <laughs> why is it only got rid of that? That's weird. There we go. And we're going to get rid of that. And there we go. Get rid of you, 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 and you. And we have a bucket full of swords. What do you think? I can do speed one now. So I'm moving at the correct speed. And we have a look at that. There we go. A bucket full of swords in this angle it looks pretty smart that's where the swords have been chucked in when you've been finishing your battles i know which sword i would pick i would choose the diamond one hey if you want to see more tutorials just like that then hit that like button to show me some encouragement and let me know in the comments what you would like to see me build in minecraft next thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming up very very soon and yeah ciao ciao with the blocks be with you